Good morning guys, this is Tracy Dinkle down here at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. I just wanted to go over this beautiful 2021 Allegro Breeze 33R. This is a diesel pusher, it's on the 6.7 liter Cummins powertrain with the Series 2 Allison transmission. This one right here has 340 horse and then 700 foot pounds of torque. So you get a lot of power and then you get some good gas mileage on that end too as well plus you get that added benefit of having that Cummins and Allison powertrain so I'm gonna go over this coach with you and show you what makes it tick and what makes it different from a lot of other uh, motorhome manufacturers out there and why everybody chases Tiffin when it comes to manufacturing so first off on this one uh, for your capacities you're gonna get uh, 70 gallons of fuel which you can do on both sides the driver or passenger you got a fill point on either side with a Y so you don't have to flip the coach around to fuel it up. And then you're going to get uh, 70 gallons of fresh, 50 gallons of gray, and 30 gallons of black. So you get really, really nice capacities when it comes to that end uh, for your waters if you are going to be doing a little bit of boondocking or if you're not in a campsite. Um, this one does have a 2000 watt inverter on it from the factory that runs everything on the inside of the coach when it comes to your 12 volt over to 110. Um, so you get that added benefit too as well. It does come with a 6K Onan quiet diesel generator, which I'll go over that with you when we get uh, up to the front of the coach so that way you can see it. Uh, this one is equipped with two 30,000 BTU furnaces, one for the front, one for the rear, and those are Suburbans on that end. So you get name brand products when you get into this coach. Uh, all the slide boxes are all finished out. They're all laminated. They are not a hung wall. They're on rack and pinion slides and they're on their seamless slides. So as it says, there's no seams. So that way there's no way for water to get anywhere inside of that wall to degrade it. From floor to ceiling and your walls, they're all gonna be two by four aluminum studs with full block foam insulation. You're gonna get roughly about a good four inches in the floor. Uh, so that way keeps everything nice and heated between the basement compartment and the inside of the coach and then going down here as you can see you get full insulated doors which are going to be all finished out in aluminum from the bottom of the ground to the floor of the bottom of the coach it has insulation there too so you don't get the uh, cold coming up from the bottom of the coach or the heat during the summertime and keeps everything climate controlled on the inside of this. As you can see on the frame, these guys do run the Power Glide chassis, which is a proprietary chassis for Tiffin. It is made by them, it is specific to the coach. So that way, it's a custom frame on that end for the most part. Uh, on this one, you are gonna be up and over to the axles when you are uh, driving this. So you're gonna get tighter turning capacities on this. You're gonna get roughly pretty close, about 65 to 60 degrees of wheel cut. So you're gonna get a really, really nice tight turn. Plus it's all hydraulic, so you don't have to sit there and fight it. It is all assisted. And this is on full high, uh, airbag ride. So very, very easy to operate. It's very, very short. It's no longer than most of your Class C motorhomes, which makes this thing shine really, really well if you're conscientious about length. Uh, you do got two bags in the front with wishbone suspension. And then you got airbags in the rear for your dual axles. Um, you got your dedicated den band switches there, one for the inverter and one for the house battery so you can kill off 12 volt. So that way you're not bleeding your batteries down with the carbon monoxide and the LP protectors and your radio killing those batteries and then having to replace them later on down the road. This one does come with the full Sickens paint, which is a full high gloss finish. Uh, nice thing about that is the clear coat never fully cures. So the big benefit to that is you're not going to get any spider cracking in the clear coat from heat. It's not going to oxidize quite as easy. And it just looks really, really, really sharp uh, for a, a good long time as long as you maintain it with a good Carnuba and taking care of it. Uh, chassis batteries are going to be located all right here. You got a dead man switch and everything is labeled of what it is, where it goes and what it does. That dead man switch kills the chassis off so the radio won't kill the uh, batteries on the chassis end. And then for all of your battery management sister, your systems, your breakers, all that stuff is labeled out, showing you what it goes to, where it is, 
and how it operates. The nice thing about Tiffin, if something goes wrong with their coaches, they have a great uh, after the fact network that they can go over to this coach and diagnose it for you over the phone. If you have an issue with anything on a, a Tiffin, you call straight to Tiffin. They take care of it for you. They get you with uh, AquaGo. They get you with uh, Whirlpool, Domenic, all those brands, Gerard Awnings. They'll get you in contact with them. They'll do the work so that way you don't have to do it. Plus, if there is something that you need to get to a service center, they'll get you right in and they'll do the work for you on that end. When it comes to the roofs on these, they are a one-piece fiberglass roof and they are pretty much the guys that started that. Um, it's all one piece. It's got a three inch crown on the edge so that way it helps protect from uh, tree branches and that kind of stuff. It's a fully walkable roof and it's all one piece fiberglass. Uh, going on to the back here, you do have the ladder on the back. It does have a full backup camera. It has a 5,000 pound hitch on the back so that way you can tow. It is already pre-prepped for an air chuck so if you are running air brakes on your uh, tow rig or if you need that, it's already set up and ready to go on that end. And it is already pre-prepped for a brake control. Just plug and play at that point. Going on to this side right here, you do have a built-in uh, surge protector with a transfer switch. So the nice thing about that, when you start the generator, it does everything on its own. You do not have to plug the 50 amp cord into a junction box to uh, get everything started up. So start the gen, it does everything on its own. Going on over here, this is another really nice benefit that you get with Tiffins. Uh, you get your own dedicated air chuck area. So this is where, like let's say if you need to air up a tire, um, if you need to air up uh, like some uh, uh, beach equipment, that kind of stuff, you got an area where you can plug into with an air chuck. You got 20, 125 pounds to 130 pounds of air pressure. So it's like a standard compressor on that end. So if you ever need to use it, it's right there, easy to get to. Um, going on to this part right here. This is your water compartment. It's completely heated and enclosed. Um, everything is all labeled out of what it is. It's all etched in there, so that way it's not going to rub off and you're going to lose on what that thing does, um, which is nice because most people just use stickers. Uh, it does have a dedicated pump switch located right there because I guarantee it nine times out of ten, I've done it. I forget to turn a pump switch on and then I have to go run all the way back into the coach to turn a pump switch on. It can be very frustrating at sometimes if you do that. Um, you do have a dedicated black tank flush, City Connect, all your low drain points, all your valves, everything is very, very easy to get to. You have a swivel port right there where you can shove everything through, lock it off, lock your pass through doors. Nobody can fumble with your stuff and it keeps it nice and secure. And uh, this makes it really, really easy on that end. Uh, going over to the storage compartment right here, uh, you could put trays in this one if you do want to do slider trays. Uh, we do offer that here at Metro RV with our parts department. Uh, this one does have full central vac in it too, so that way keep everything nice and clean. Plus it's easy to get to when you have to clean it out and empty it. That point right there with the uh, white piping is a low drain point for your fresh water tank. Again, that's 70 gallons worth of fresh water, so you, big amount of capacity is on that end. Right here is the back end of the fridge, so that way easy to get to if something needs to get fixed like a compressor, wiring, any of that kind of stuff. They went out of the way to make a port so that way you can get into it. The other big benefit to the doors on all the Tiffins, they give you a little bit of push back. And the reason why that they do that is so that way it gives it a positive uh, clamp down. So that way it helps prevent from water, dust, dirt, any of that kind of stuff getting on the inside of your compartments. And that's on all of your storage compartments on this coach. Um, on your slides, they are rack and pinion. So that way you get a really, really nice, good, solid foundation on your slide boxes when they are a weight-bearing slide box. Uh, this is gonna be your breaker compartment and then it's gonna have a knob in there that you can pull to open up the uh, generator compartment, which I'll show you that here. Uh, this is a 6K Onan uh, quiet diesel. Has about 171 hours on it, so it's got really, really low hours. This does have side departure cameras on it, and then it does have backup camera, which those are located right there. And then we'll go on the inside of the coach right here. All right, let me 
me get this. Shut up here. I'm doing a little bit of a dance there, but all right. So coming on in, inside the coach. On this one, it is gonna be all LCD for your displays, for your odometers, your radios, your backup cameras. All that stuff is all on that end. This coach is equipped with side departure cameras, like I said, plus it does have lane assist and it does have uh, the cruise assist. So that way it's pretty much, you set it and it, if you get into a lane um, that's a little bit narrow, it really builds the confidence of the driver on that end it'll give you a little bit of resistance letting you know that you're getting on the edge there a little bit because this is a wide body coach this thing is 102 inches wide um, so it really builds up the confidence on that end plus if you get close to like let's say if you're driving on the highway you get a little bit, a bit of highway hypnosis it happens to a lot of us um, it will slow you down and do all that stuff too just like your normal cars do uh, as of today this one does have a, a exhaust brake on it too from the factory so if you are towing with it you got that exhaust brake plus you got the adaptive part of the Allison transmission where it will actually learn your driver habits over a certain period of time it's a really really good system it does have full auto level on it which is hydraulic so that way easy to set up easy to tear down it's all on the press of a button slide boxes are easy to get to for the front ones passenger side is going to be right here driver side is going to be right here Two front slides are going to be on hydraulic rack and pinion, so get a really nice foolproof system on that end. Both chairs do swivel, and then uh, you do have your recliner on the passenger end, and then you do have a, uh, a tray that goes over the top of the steps, so that way it makes it a flat plane when you're going down the road and you don't have to worry about falling through the uh, steps. Um, on your Tivins, when it comes to their floors, they are a full set floor from wall to wall. So that way you don't get any shifting, you're not going to break any tiles, you're not going to get any squeaky floors, none of that. And they're all laid in grounded tiles. So you get basically just like home when it comes to that end. You're going to get full leather uh, upholstery throughout the coach with full flex steel interior suit. So it's all name brand, like I said. Um, you do get storage up underneath the uh, Dream Dinette. I got all the goodies located right there. Got all the owner's manuals with the coach too. All of your lighting is done on multiplex. So you got your standard switches where you can individually do them, or you got a big master switch with a touch screen in the back that does pretty much everything on the coach that you need to get to. So that way you don't have to come out here in the middle of the night and swap all the stuff over. Um, going on to the, your cabinetry, it is full solid wood all the way through the coach. These guys, when it comes to their quality and craftsmanship on their woodwork, you're not going to really find anything better. Even your slide fascias are full solid wood. You do get soft touch ceilings, which have a kind of like a leather feel to them. But the reason why they do that is it helps with uh, noise, so you don't get a lot of that. And then plus, if you're a light sleeper, you're not going to hear the pitter patter of rain and stuff like that too as well. You do get full Girard awnings on all three slides of this coach, so that way it helps prevent from pooling of water on top of the slides. Plus, keeps all the debris and stuff off the top of the slides of the coach. Um, all of your countertops are all going to be Corian. So they're all solid surface countertops. Full name brand LG TVs. You're going to get Whirlpool uh, refrigerators and freezers. So this one does have an ice maker in it. Nice thing about these, it gets super cold really, really quick. You don't have to worry about propane. You don't have to worry about any sensors going off, saying that you're not level. Nothing like that. It's a really, really nice system. Uh, these are prepped for Wi-Fi, and they are prepped for Dish or Direct TV or Starlink. So it's just kind of up to you on what route you want to go on to that end. Um, I did take the cover off for the burn top. Um, it does have a high output in the front, so you can still boil a pot of water in altitude. And then you get your low outputs in the rear. That is propane. When it comes to your drawers, they're full solid wood faces with 75 pound steel rollerball bearing guides full residential goose deck faucets. You do have a big window right there. So that way you can get a lot of free lighting in here when you have those open. Uh, split 50-50 stainless steel sinks. So that way you can conserve on water um, if you are not hooked up to City Connect. Get that back there. Uh, you can get the full slate uh, tile dam backsplashes, which just looks really, really sharp. 
Um, it's not like a wallpaper or anything like that. You get USB ports and all that everywhere. You're going to get plugins with invert on them. Get a nice fan. Everything is done really, really right when it comes to these guys. When it comes to your doors, they're going to be full wood pocket doors. They're not going to be an accordion style or anything like that. Uh, you do get full porcelain toilets, full porcelain basins, and then you're going to get full solid surface countertops. You're going to get full one-piece glass showers with no seams in between. You get that central uh, cubby right there for all your um, showers, shampoos, that kind of stuff. And central is a really, really good product. It's non-porous, so it's not going to take on any smells. And then plus, the other big thing, it's not going to discolor on you. Uh, you do have a vent right there and then plus that's an access for a p-trap if you ever need to get to it if you ever need to get to a clog or anything like that so that's already there all of your heating is done with uh tin boxing not dryer vent tubing this one's going to come with a 15,000 btu ac in the front with a heat pump so that will actually draw in air from the outside heat it over an electric grid and then push it into the coach those are good to about 50 degrees and then you're going to want to go over to force gas air with your two 30,000 BTU furnaces. On the rear uh, part of this coach, it does come with one single 13,000 BTU air. For this part of the coach, that does not have a uh, pump in it. It's just your standard 13K, but it is completely ducted from front to rear. If you have both ACs turned on this thing, it's gonna get really nice and cool in here. This one does have a full pillow top queen bed. You do have storage up underneath. All of your multiplex for all of your switches and everything are very, very nice and easy to get to. You get a ton of built-in dressers on this coach. Everything's all finished out. Uh, really good Shaw carpet, which is a great, it's got a great pile to it. Um, it's gonna last a good long time. And it just looks really, really nice and clean. That's about the only carpet you have in the coach. But the big benefit to a diesel pusher, so when you're driving down the road, you don't hear the engine, when you're sleeping you don't hear the generator so if you're worried about that end that's when you come over to a diesel pusher um, I'm just gonna kind of recap here on this end of what we got to offer on this one um, like I said tile floors are all built in from wall to wall full block foam insulation uh, four inch floors five inch roof pretty close to about that on that one because of the uh, leatherette that's on there for the soft touch roof fully insulated basement compartments, um, 5,000 pound hitch, uh, two furnaces. Um, the height on this one with the ACs is gonna be 11.8 for your height. So really, really good on the height aspect that you don't have to worry about uh, ringing your bell on a lot of things if you're worried about it. Uh, going on to your multiplex here for your uh, system, everything is labeled out of what everything goes to. You got your master switches for your light, lighting so you don't have to individually go and uh, turn everyone off. You can just do it all right here, right next to the bed. You don't have to go all the way through the coach. Uh, your HVAC system is easy to get to. Your maxi fans, your slide boxes, you can do from the front or you can do them from back here and that will adjust all the slides on this coach. And then the other thing, if you ever need to do diagnostics or anything like that, It'll show you everything all right here. It'll give you a good synopsis of what you're looking at and what you need to keep an eye on. It goes from house to chassis. It'll actually even tell you fault codes. And then if it does have a fault code, it'll actually give you a, um, a code that you can take with your picture, a QR code. And then you can send that to Tiff and they can kind of give you an idea of what's going on with the coach or get you to the nearest service center to get you squared away on that end. Um, if you guys have any other questions, I really do appreciate your time of letting me go over this with you. We don't get in a lot of uh, diesel pushers quite to this notch. If you guys have any questions, please give me a call. My number is 406-208-3594. My name is Tracy. I'm here at Metro RV here in Billings, Montana. I really appreciate it and have a great day.